right, this is a pretty quick problem. Um, basically, um, you're not really going to be using um, any of the kinematic equations for this. Um, so the way I set this up is Sue and Jenny are kicking the soccer ball at the same time. So it seems like they're running into each other, um, but essentially we can represent the soccer ball as this point particle. And there is a force straight up north, which is the force Sue exerts, and that's um, over here, 49.9 newtons. And then there's the force directly east in the, and you can also say this is the x hat direction, just to kind of get used to a little more physics lingo. And then this is the y hat direction. Now, um, since these forces are exerted at the same time, we can basically, we have a vector to represent the sum of both of these. So what I did here was I basically just took this force vector F1 and I just brought it over to here. So we can connect basically F2 with F1. Okay. Now we need to find the magnitude of the resultant force. What's the resultant force going to be? Well, it's this one, so we can just call this F3. Okay, so we have something called uh, Pythagorean Theorem, and I'll just abbreviate it. Um, and Pythagorean Theorem says A squared uh, plus B squared is equal to C squared. And all it really is is the distance formula. Um, and it's the distance formula is you can basically say this, where you can say C is equal to the resultant force. So if you say that, you're basically saying F3 is going to be equal to the square root of F1 squared plus F2 squared. Does that make sense? So essentially you don't even need any angles really. You could, there's multiple ways to do this, but um, there's not really any need. We can just go straight to the distance formula um, for this for this guy um, because they're both straight east and straight north. There's no other components to add. So what we can do is say the magnitude of this vector is simply going to be, and you can write magnitude of the vector as this, because this is the exact same thing as saying this. It's just shorthand for saying the magnitude. So we just simply plug these in. Um, so you're just basically gonna get uh, 49.9 Newtons, sorry, 49.9, Newtons squared. And remember, you're squaring the units when you're putting these in, okay? Um, and 91.5 Newtons squared. And when you do that, uh, you will get the resulting force. And let's just calculate it out real quick. So we have 49.9 squared plus 91.5 squared, square root. And let's see if this answer makes sense. So I am getting, uh, I'm just getting approximately 104.2 newtons. Um, and does this make sense? Um, I would say it kind of does. We could also do it another way where we can say, okay, what's the angle between them? So you can basically say cosine of theta, let's call this theta, cosine of theta is going to be equal to, um, uh, I'm sorry, All right, let's just erase this. We're not doing cosine, we're doing opposite over adjacent, so we're going to do tangent or cotangent. It all depends on what you want to do. Um, so tangent of theta is equal to t toa for SOHCAHTOA. Um, that's going to be F1 opposite over adjacent. And that's going to be um, 49.9 divided by 91.5. It's 
So that's going to be 0 0.55, uh, we'll just say 5, 5, round up. And then theta is going to be equal to inverse tangent or arctan of 0 0.55. And to do arctan, you pretty much need to use a calculator. Um, there's not really any other way to do it. So I'm getting theta is equal to 28.6 degrees. Okay. And now we can use this to verify this answer. So if we say cosine um, of 28 point six is going to be equal to adjacent over hypotenuse so adjacent is ninety one point five divided by f three we can basically just say f three is going to be equal to ninety one point five divided by uh, cosine of 28.6 which is 0 0.878 sorry it's kind of kind of sloppy here um, 0 0.878 now let's just erase that eight seven eight okay and you will get um, about, yep, 104.2. So these are two different ways you can get the answer, and I just did that to verify. And you should be do this, you should be able to do this with any other generic numbers.